going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Captain Bridger and today it is episode 2 of the UCF AD Dynasty here on uh, NCAA 12. Um, last episode, if you missed it, you can find it right here. But uh, we had a huge hometown opener win over Cincinnati, but then we dropped a big loss to Boston College. Um, but we're here to regroup and we're getting ready to take on our hated rival in the USF Bulls. It's the war on I-4, baby. Uh, we'll be traveling down to Tampa to take on the Bulls in this matchup. Now, looking at the pregame stuff, Herb Street is rolling with us, although the Bulls do edge us out on paper a little bit. Um, we're B plus B plus B. They're B plus B B. And they have us beat in everything except total offense and pass offense. We have the number 10 pass offense in the country, so that's pretty cool. Looking at their schedule, they lost a close one to Notre Dame, and then they blew out Ball State. So um, hopefully the same that happened to us last week doesn't happen again this go-around. Looking at their defensive leaders, uh, Fenton leads the team with six tackles. Hurd with one interception, and Fenton also has a Fenton also has a sack. Looking at us, uh, Grigsby is uh, 28 to 58, 645 yards, four total touchdowns, but also four interceptions. Hopefully, uh, he doesn't mimic that of maybe Jameis Winston on the Bucks. Uh, our rushing leader is John Webb, 141 yards for two touchdowns so far. Our leading receiver is Gibson, 187 yards on six catches with one total touchdown. But enough talking, I'm ready to whoop up on some bowls, and we will see you guys at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. All right, y'all, welcome to Tampa, Florida, Raymond James Stadium, home of the Bucks, And we're getting ready for one of the, uh, in my opinion, one of the most underrated in-state rivalries here in Florida. The war for I-4, baby. Showing up in the all-whites, looking clean, looking fresh, and we're looking to walk away with a big win today. All right, y'all, we deferred to the second half, and uh, USF was able to come up with a uh, touchdown on their opening drive. So we're down 7 nothing, just over five minutes left to go in the first quarter. And we hand it off to Webb for the first play, and he ends up losing some yardage to start out the game. I'm looking for uh, a fresh start. I, uh, I can see that Gibson is a little shooketh. I'm trying to get him calmed down here early on. As Webb cuts to the outside, lowers his shoulder, and he's able to pick up about seven on the play. And uh, that brings up third down and four for the Knights. All right, y'all, third down and four. It's getting a little loud here for, uh, for Grigsby. And the... Uh, and the the Bulls come in hot and heavy, and they pick up a sack. Three and out to start the game. All right, second and ten. Uh, looks like we're not shook anymore. I don't know if that's like a glitch or something, but we toss one out real quick to Smith, and Smith is able to pick up about five for us, and this will bring up third down and five. All right, third and five. Grigsby's back to being a little, uh, a little shook there. And, oh, I need just another second. That's all I need, guys. Just another second, please. All right, first and 10. We're running a jet sweep to Davis. And Davis cuts to the outside. Uh, it isn't able to shake those tacklers, but picks up a decent gain on the play. All right, third down and one. I, I need one yard, guys. One yard, and we get it. And a little bit more as Webb cuts to the outside. Gets wrestled right just outside the 30-yard line. Big game for Webb. Let's go. All right, second down and seven. Running a receiver option. Ran perfectly. Swain cuts to the outside. Wheels. And uh, gets brought down right around the 10-yard line. Gets dragged out of bounds. That was an awesomely ran option play. Perfect. All right, first and 10 in the red zone. Just outside the 10. And quick slam to Alexander, and he doesn't get the touchdown, but he picks up the first down. So it's first and goal. We are sniffing six points here. Can we get it? All right, guys, first down and goal. Start of the second quarter. We're running a fullback dive. Can Charlie Starr punch it in? And he does. 
Touchdown Knights, we're on the board, baby. So I simmed it and it went way too quick. And uh, I was looking at what the hell happened. And uh, USF returned a kick for 96 yards for a touchdown. So, yikes. Alrighty, second down and eight. We got Webb on the inside there. And he's able to pick up the first down. Let's go. Alright, first and ten. And Grigsby loses the football. Dude, come on. Bro. Not only do we lose the football, we give up a touchdown on top of it. So we are now down 21-7. Uh, this is going to be a long day if we... Bruh. Alrighty, this one, uh, this one got ugly quick. So we are, at this point, just trying to... Uh, I don't know. I don't really even know what word to use. I think survive might be the right word. Maybe um, not embarrass ourselves would be a good good uh, term. But either way, we somehow get that pitch out. And John's able to cut loose downfield wheels. And he gets brought down just outside the 40. But a little bit of hope there. Somehow Grigsby was able to get that pitch away. And uh, John's able to pick up some decent yardage out of it. Alrighty, first down and 20 now. Let's see if um, Grigsby can come up with something here as Davis is able to cut free and we pick up the first down. There we go. A little bit of life is being shown here by the boys. Alrighty, second and 12. I got Gibson out there beyond the first down marker and he hauls it in for the first down. Man, I tell you what, if... Grigsby didn't fumble it and throw that pick. I'd say he'd be been playing pretty well so far today. But, you know, just the, those stupid mistakes are what ended up <laughs> having us down by 21. But, regardless, we're, we're trying to get back into the swing of things, at least making this a competitive game. As uh, Webb was able to come up with a big run for us that go. And let's see if he can do it again for us. And he gets us down to about the three. Alrighty, second down and goal. We're running a jet sweep to Gibson. He picks up the block and he's able to punch it in. Touchdown, Knights. Alright, guys. Our defense is a struggling. That is for sure. Give up another touchdown. Hey, yo, what? Man, that, I don't know if I feel good about that because, I don't know, the defenders like glitched out. They didn't do anything, but um, that other defender didn't, that's for sure. He hawked down John like it was nothing. But, um, all right, so we go down, we go into the locker room down 21 points here. If the defense can make some pivotal stops, we might be able to turn this into a ball game, but... So far, it is uh, it is not looking pretty for the Knights. All right, third down and six. Uh, kind of a big third down play here. And, ah, uh, damn it. Play action. Oh, dude, come on. Make a play for the ball. You were right there. That's so frustrating when I'm there and I, I just get like this, this dumbass little animation. Uh, so yet another third down for the Knights. And the tight end Davis is able to get wide open. So we do convert this one, which is good. But, oh man. So the defense is able to come up with uh, some stops here in the second half. But man, like, I just I can't do anything with them. As uh, we run another option. And for some reason, them defensive players are just acting up again. So I... I I feel like I didn't really earn that run, but whatever. We pick up the big first down, and Coach is wanting to run the ball on first down again. So, running a little draw. And we just, we can't, we can't shake defenders. We can't shake defenders, and we can't block defenders. And if you can't do that, you don't have a run game. And if you don't have a run game, 
what are you going to do? Three stops in a row for, for the defense. And now it's it's on us. We can't, we can't do a thing with the football, man. So get the fours up, guys. Uh, we are down 21 going into the final leg of the game. And, man, we have to come up with something. Alrighty, third down and 15. Another third and long. That seems to be common practice with us, and we just throw another fucking pick, man. Alright, third and seven. Oh, you dropped the fucking ball! Dude! Wah, wah, wah. I am, uh, I'm learning, I'm learning real quick. This is going to be a long season. So we will, um, we'll just kind of let the clock wind down. And there we go. All right, John, pick up that block for me, man. Nope, can't do it. Cool. Thanks, man. We'll just kind of let the clock wind down here. Um, there's really not much else we can do with this one. And we are going to soundly lose the war on I-4, which um, is really disappointing because I thought we could at least make this a, um, I don't know, a competitive game. But that's just not the way the cookie's going to crumble this this go around, which, uh, which is, is just so, so disappointing, man. But we'll run this option again, and we're just not able to get a whole lot of anything out of that one. So we got we got enough time to run one more, so uh, we'll just run this screen real quick, and yeah, that'll do it. So guys, as the clock winds down, we're going to lose a big one here on the road, and a huge rivalry loss against uh, the USF Bulls. I think the final score, yeah, 48-14 is the final, so... Uh, not uh, not the best showing here, and uh, we're dropping to one and two for the season. Disappointing. All right, guys. So, uh, drop the game, 48-14. Uh, we had 14 first downs to their 23, 309 total yards of offense to their 473. Uh, we ended up with uh, 111 passing yards. Excuse me, to their 284. We were 20% on third down to their 50. Uh, they were 33% on fourth down. We didn't even try. 50% uh, in the red zone to their 87%. We turned the ball over four fucking times. Um, and we even had more time of possession than them. So there's, there's a win there. We had 11 penalties, too, for 59 yards. Wow, to their three. That's crazy. So Grigsby was 50% for the day. He was uh, 12 for 24, 1100, 111 yards uh, with two interceptions. Webb was uh, 21 carries for almost 200 rushing yards. Pretty pretty damn good. Uh, Grigsby was negative uh, 18 rushing yards. Gibson with four yards. Uh, Star with uh, one rushing yard with one touchdown. Gibson was our other touchdown for the day. Uh, Swain, one rush for 17 yards, and Davis, one rush for four yards. Receiving Alexander was three catches for 11 yards. Webb was three for 16. Swain, two catches for 18. Davis, two catches for 46 yards. Gibson, one catch for 15 yards. And Juan Smith, one catch for five yards. And as far as blocking is concerned, our right tackle, Stephen Sullivan, was credited with one sack given up. All right, guys, so advancing past our bye week, um, now one and two on the season, and we're getting ready to take on Florida International um, in Miami. Um, I thought for sure we'd be rolling in kind of high and mighty, at, at least at, uh, you know, over over 500, but uh, apparently not. That's kind of what happens here in uh, college football. But looking at the pregame stuff, Herb Street is rolling with us yet again. Um, we are better than them on paper, um, but they have a lot of things that they are better than us with. Um, we are negative seven in the turnover differential, one of the worst in the country. That is rough. Looking at their schedule, uh, they were able to beat, looks like, North Texas. Then they were shut out against, uh, I think that's Louisville? 
Schwarzenegger. That's Louisville. Then they beat an FCS team, and then they lost to uh, University of Louisiana Lafayette, 27 to 12, and that brings them to us. Um, so hopefully, we can maybe use this as a tune-up game and uh, maybe get back on track here and get us back to 500 for the season. But uh, we will see you guys in Miami right now. All right, y'all, welcome to Miami FIU Stadium. Getting ready to take on the Panthers here in our second uh, interstate game of the season. I think, I think we get one more after this. I'm not quite sure. Looks like we get the ball to start the game, so uh, we, uh, we got to make the most of it here. And I would like to march down the field and make a statement first drive as it looks like we just might get to do that as John picks up a huge gain for us to open up the game. I would love nothing more than to be able to uh, end the episode with a touchdown, or <laughs> with a touchdown, with a uh, win here. As uh, John's able to pick up six yards for us yet again. Good chunk of yardage on that one. I'd also like to say that uh, I want to try and not turn the ball over this game, but I don't know how how I can promise that to y'all. But we toss it out to Smith, and Smith is able to come up with a big catch for us. And uh, we haul it in, I think, inside the 30, if I saw correctly. Alrighty, just outside the 25. Tossing it out to John. As he lowers his shoulder, and Webb's able to pick up six for us. Second down and four now. All right, y'all, third down and four. Our first uh, third down of the game. Bruh. Oh, bro, you're fucking kidding me, dude. All right, y'all, I had to turn off my uh, ring light here. It was really uh, screwing up my eyesight a little bit, but... All right, so we uh, we start over again, and Webb is able to shake a tackle. Does he have the wheels to get downfield? And he doesn't, but he gets in the red zone after a huge run. Um, all right, so way to, way to turn things around there after that interception we threw. This game, we might focus a little more on... Uh, on running the ball rather than throwing it. Their run defense doesn't seem to be that elite as Webb lowers his shoulder and gets to the goal line, but he's not able to get the extra yardage to punch it inside for us. But it looks like they ease off on the men up front, and we're going to run a halfback dive, and Webb is able to punch it in. And the Knights strike first. All right, first and 10, and John's... I was going to say he was going to take his first crack at throwing the ball, but uh, he overthrows his receiver out there. Okay, second down and 10 for the Knights. And a quick throw out to Swain, and Swain's able to break free. Does he have the wheels downfield? And he does! Touchdown, Knights! Big catch! Big throw! And uh, we go up two touchdowns here. Swain, look at that, right off the catch. Swain was able to uh, to break free and bring it downtown. The, uh, the crowd's getting into uh, Grigsby's head a little bit. But he's got Gibson out here in the flats. And Gibson's able to break a tackle, but not the other. But we pick up the first down and get brought down around the 25-yard line. All right, can we capitalize? Throw it to Gibson again, and he gets brought down inside the five-yard line. So we didn't capitalize on that play, but we are pretty damn close of doing so. All right, first and goal. We're going to run a counter to Webb, and Webb cuts to the outside, lowers the shoulder, and he punches it in. Touchdown, Knights. That is three touchdowns in the first quarter. I don't think <laughs> that's our first time doing that this season. All right, we're going to run this power option. To bring our tight end over on this side here. Whoa. Defender was there, and John's able to lower the shoulder. Get off me, stupid. And what looked like a blown up play turned into, Jesus, a pretty decent gain. And uh, this brings up third down and one now. We're going to run it again. And this time we get some room to the outside, and Webb. Has the acceleration of a Mack truck. But that's all right. We pick up the first down. All right, second and six. Dude. You're not... Uh, that was on the receiver. That, that wasn't even the quarterback's fault. 
how am I going to extend the play for you like that? And then you're just not even going to, to give it the old college try. But Alexander's there to pick up the first down for us, and we keep this drive alive. Right, we're going to run this, uh, this jet sweep. And we pick up the blocks, and we do cut to the outside. Break the tackle, Davis! Oh! oh. What, I, what I think I don't like is the... It's not... I don't think it's something that the slider can change. It's the the logic. It's not the... Maybe the awareness. I don't know. But it's it's the logic is that's killing me. As uh, Davis picks up the first down for us. But it's the logic. Like the, the blockers. There's someone right in front of you. They're coming for me. Block. Block for me. Come on. But they, they break away. And I, I don't like it. I realize I just probably rambled for over two plays but there was a if I see it again I'll, I'll bring it up there's there's just some logic issues that I don't like with this game and I think that's gonna be a face mask yes sir accept it let's go alrighty guys first and goal uh, we're going to show run but we're going to quickly pass it over to are you kidding me man all right, we'll try it again. And if we can't get this, then I, don't, then I don't know. All right, we do. Touchdown, Knights. I think that's Webb's, uh, I think, second, or at least second, maybe even third. I'm not quite sure. Okie dokie, a third down and 13 here. And we, ah. Uh, See, that's annoying because now we went ahead and gave him hope. Can't be doing that. All right. Damn, man. Come on. All right, y'all. So we're going to go into the locker room at halftime up 28 to 7. Um, playing a lot better. We're still having these dumb mistakes like throwing these stupid picks. We have got to try and work on that, man. But we are playing a lot better than uh, than what we were. All right, second and long. And just he overthrows it, man. It was wide open. He had him there, man. But he, he just overthrows it. But all right, third and long here to uh, to start the half. I might uh, I might change around my my rules here a little bit because this is just unacceptable. So I found what I was trying to talk about earlier. Um, the logic in the players. So we have a pulling guard here. He's looking for somebody. There's a defender right there. If he blocks, I have a hole. But he, he's not even looking in the right direction. He does absolutely nothing. That that kind of stuff drives me crazy. Alrighty, I'll second down and nine to go here. Grigsby is really shook against these Panthers, but we throw... Where, like, where the fuck are you throwing that, dude? You had a receiver wide-ass open, and you're throwing it through the uprights. What in the hell is going on? I might put in the backup just to see what we have, man. Alright, he made it up that go. But man, like, that was, Jesus, man, like, overthrowing the shit out of these receivers. Alright guys, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch around my original rules here. Um, I didn't want to be able to, uh, I don't know, like, re reshape the depth chart, but Grigsby's kind of pissing me off a little bit, so I'm putting in the backup, uh, Sampson, just to see what he can do. Um, yeah, cause I don't know the way, the way Grigsby's playing is just kind of unacceptable, man. And you know, that, that time that wasn't even the quarterback's fault. That was receivers for not, not being able to catch it. Alrighty. First down and 10 here. Um, I'm going to give Samson a real honest try here and he throws it up to Gibson and Gibson's able to, to haul it in for a first down. 
I'm not sure what to do about that. But we gained five. Hopefully, uh, well, actually, you know, that's going to do it for the third. So, y'all, get your fours up here. We're up 35-10 uh, over the Panthers. If we lose this game, we have no uh, no reason to even continue on with the season. All right, we got Swain downfield, and he's able to haul it in. All right, first and ten after that uh, pretty nice throw from Sampson. Dump it out to Gibson, and Gibson stays on his feet, shakes a couple tackles, and he gets brought down just outside the five-yard line. Let's go. And see, now at this point, it's third down and goal. You know, I, I, I don't know if we can run it in from here. You know, I'm starting to think maybe it's just me. Maybe I just fucking suck at this game. Now, I'm noticing it looks like Coach... Um, Coach may have may have made an executive call here because Grigsby is back in the game and he immediately throws a quick one out there to uh, fuck. I didn't even see who caught that, but that was that was pretty sweet. All right, y'all. So uh, I didn't talk over it. We ended up throwing another pick by Grigsby, and they were able to score a touchdown off of it. So from here, we're just gonna we're just gonna run the clock out. Um, there's over two minutes left, and I have faith in our our run game that we're able to uh, kind of run the clock out on this one. All right, guys. So the clock winds down to the triple zeros, and we walk away with a big win, 49-17 over FIU. Um, I'm obviously happy that we won, but for some reason, like, this one doesn't quite feel as, uh, rewarding. Um, I don't know, I, I feel like there were still a lot of mistakes that we made, uh, more specifically in the INT bracket. Um, and I, I just can't help but think, like, if we, if we didn't have all those, all those, uh, interceptions, what kind of a team can we be? Um... But yeah, and that's that's just something I can't help but think about here. So we outscored them 49-17. We had 20 first downs to their 11, 487 total yards of offense to their 276, uh, 337 passing yards to their 221. Uh, we also had 150 rushing yards to their 55. Uh, we beat them in third down conversion, 62% to their 25. Uh, we were 60% in the red zone to their 42. Five interceptions we had this game. Five. Uh, and they had three. Um, golly, five interceptions. And like I said, I just can't help but think, like, if we didn't have those many interceptions, what what could we have put up on this FIU team, you know? Just something uh, something we have to, to really, really work on. Uh, looking at time of possession as well, we doubled their time of possession plus, so that's kind of a, a plus there too all right looking at our quarterback stats uh grigsby was 12 for 24 273 yards three touchdowns four picks samson uh harry samson was three for eight 64 yards and one pick and john webb had that one uh interception or not interception incompletion uh but webb was uh 24 carries for 134 yards three touchdowns davis was five carries for 27 yards uh, Felder did not gain anything. Swain, one attempt, one rush. Star with one rushing yard. And uh, Gibson with no yards as well. Receiving-wise, Gibson was six catches for 126 yards, one touchdown. Swain was four catches, 118 for one touchdown. Alexander was two catches, 30 yards. Uh, Smith was two catches, 42 yards, one touchdown. And Webb was one catch for 21 yards. And blocking, Trevor Davis, our tight end, comes up with one pancake. And Andrew Harrell, our right guard, was credited with one sack given up. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this episode. Um, we do end up back to 2-2 two and two at 500 for the season. Um, but again, like, I... Just, not, not a not a real good one to hang our hats on. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, I appreciate the views. Appreciate everything. Um, if you guys want to be a part of the offensive squad, leave your information down below, and we will get you guys onto the squad here. Just uh, give me your basic information and shit like that, too. Um, but, guys, that's going to do it for episode number two of the UCF AD series. Make sure to uh, like the video. 
comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and guys, I'm Captain Bridger, and we will see you all down the road. See y'all later, and go Knights!